fucking it's free. Oh, our, uh, What'd you tell them? You tell them to go fuck themselves? I, absolutely, I'm not signing anything. No, I take the iPhone one down. Fuck that. Wow. You are you making them take it down? Oh. <laughs> 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 That's a good reason. Uh, we we got Gary Coleman in divorce court or a light bulb that has burned for 107 years. I got to hit a light bulb one. <laughs> 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 Why? Filament! It must have very good filament! <laughs> who's that? Filament! Who's that? It's me! I'm who's who? Who's, who? who's that? <laughs> who, who is who that? Is that? <laughs> Ted the light bulb expert! <laughs> who? Filament is very effective! <laughs> You, you're an expert on what? Light bulbs. <laughs> really? Yes, companies hire me to save them energy. <laughs> what if I wanted to save energy in my apartment? Energy would I change, like wizardry. Would I change the light bulbs or would I change them to? Stop trying to lead me, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he can do it himself. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jimmy had a rant on trees yesterday. It was, it was legendary. <laughs> the oh stupid God, tree God. bit yesterday <laughs> made me laugh all day. I'm hoping for a light bulb rant today. You never there know. There won't be one. I'm just never commenting on the Philippine. <laughs> light bulb uh, burns continuously for 107 years. We That's gotta... a lot longer than normal. <laughs> we got to thank Bree. Normally they tap out at 103 years. <laughs> <laughs> that extra four years, he got his money's worth. <laughs> Is this Frank the Frowner? No, it's no, Chad no. the light bulb expert. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Frank the yes, Frowner. Yes, they all sound alike. Don't you understand that? There's two voices, eight people. <laughs> uh, Breitbart. Thanks to Breitbart for, for putting this on their, uh, Breitbart. On their uh, main page. Here we go. Uh, the Centennial light bulb here at the Livermore Pleasant Fire Department is a hand-blown light bulb built by the Shelby Light Company with a carbon filament inside. And I told you it was a good filament, <laughs> but nobody wants to listen to me. <laughs> the Shelby Light Company was legendary for their filaments. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby was legendary. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. It sounds like there might have been some wizardry to this light bulb. There was no wizardry, it was just good filament stuff. I think you know a little bit about wizardry, I don't know. It sounds like Frank, you could. Frank the Frowner. Huh? <laughs> filament inside, and it puts out four watts worth of light. We currently use it to like illuminate Voss. the apparatus. <laughs> the fire little dim bulb, a little soft orange glow coming out of it. <laughs> Uh, it's 104 years old. <laughs> I didn't even think of that either. 107. Uh, the tiny little filaments. <laughs> uh, nothing beats Jimmy's Ben Franklin cruising rant. Uh, Damien wants to acknowledge that rant. Yeah, that was a good to one. To illuminate the apparatus bay, and the firefighters use it at night as the night light when they're coming out to get into their rigs from the dormitory. Our light bulb is 108 years old. It was first installed in 1901 in the carriage house for the fire department on Wood Street in Livermore. Oh, the light bulb has been here through a lot of historical events. It was shining before the Wright brothers flew. It was shining before man stepped on the moon. And it's been shining through a, few a number of things happen in between there. Yeah. When you look at the light bulb, you'll notice that not only is the light bulb the original part of the installation, but everything from the ceiling to the light bulbs, so the wire, the socket, and the base, including the switch, is all original. So it's a fire hazard. You know how great <laughs> that's that's pretty much what he's saying. Do you know how great that would look with a basketball bouncing off? <laughs> 107 years down the fucking shitter. Smash! Now get me a new one, dude. Where's the light bulb? Send a pest. Yes, we yeah, got, you have to we got a prize pass. closet. Break that fucking oh. asshole light bulb. Break the light bulb. <laughs> oh my Next God, day, there's just a GE hundred water screwed into there. Exactly. <laughs> History's gone. Yeah, where happened to the light bulb? Oh, this one's brighter. Fucking Shut broke. Up. <laughs> One of the things to note is, is the filament of the bulb is much larger than the common filaments we have right now. As I've said! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was he saying about the filament? Because you could probably just finish what he was saying. The filament is much larger, therefore more effective. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is that right, Frank the Frowner? Huh? <laughs> I'm Ted the light bulb expert. <laughs> Light bulb expert. Have right now, and so it's much more shock sensitive, and it doesn't put out as much light, but it certainly puts out enough illumination and has kept going yeah, for over exactly. years. Exactly. What does that mean, shock sensitive? Because you don't want to get shocked, you'll become sensitive. <laughs> but, <laughs> idiot. It means if you tap it, it won't break like your normal light bulb. Exactly. It's I a said. big, fat, thick 
black filament. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Big, thick filament. You don't want to put that anywhere near the blonde filament, or it'll never come back. The blonde filament will be ruined. <laughs> She'll start smoking Newports. <laughs> Now, she put on 100 pounds. Uh, now, uh, boardroom Jimmy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this can't be good for the economy, right? To have a light bulb that burns for 100 and I don't know enough years. about numbers. So I deal in filaments. <laughs> <laughs> My company puts out seven <laughs> filaments a year. <laughs> Seven a year. That's right. That's well, it. I guess wow. if they We're last forever. Right. We make them from the spines of stillborns. <laughs> I love how he has to be in character, even though it's radio. He's you, you can't even see his eyes. Just who I am. <laughs> he just in a mess. In eight years. People always ask us, "Has it ever been hit, or uh, do you dust it, or how do you take care What's of it?" What's your answer to that, sir? As a matter of. <laughs> <laughs> has it ever been hit? By what? It's fucking still intact, isn't it? Yes, it was hit by it was hit by a child party balloon in 1937, <laughs> and his dust bunny crashed. Fucking! <laughs> <laughs> it was hit by a breeze that would explode, you cunt! <laughs> Who asks you these questions? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and the matter People of fact ask, is, is that has anybody ever kicked it like a judo expert? Have a fire truck ever run it over? <laughs> has it ever exploded and been taped back together? <laughs> or clean it. And the matter of fact is, is that on occasion, the light bulb has been hit with basketballs and Nerf balls and a oh. few things, and it has sustained itself quite well. Well. Wow. They've asked us, so what are you going to do when the light bulb burns out? And we affectionately tell them that we don't plan to do anything because we know this light bulb is probably going to outlive most of us here today. Who asked Eight these fucking ago, boring the questions? Celebrated. What are you going to do when the light bulb burns out? Will it just be dark forever in here? Or will you replace it? <laughs> what are you going to read by? <laughs> <laughs> Eight years ago, the light bulb celebrated its 100th birthday, and we threw a barbecue here, and that was attended by approximately 500 people, complete wow. with cake and the barbecue. This light bulb has Speaking its own website, and you can visit that website, <gasps> centennialightbulb.com, and uh, watch the light bulb on its please. own light cam, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So the light bulb by itself is, if you will, its own personality. It's definitely its own character, and a part of Livermore that is truly, truly historical. www.breakthisalready.com <laughs> <laughs> That's the light bulb? Wow. Oh, it looks like an old man. Oh. <laughs> no, that old man is pointing at the light bulb. What's the Delete. LFD? Uh, that's the town. Something the... fucking dummy. <laughs> light fucking dummy. <laughs> Put that picture back, Nathaniel, or I'll knock that hat off your fucking head. Because you're from the Livermore Fire Department, I believe, uh, Ted. Oh. Ted, right? Ted, the, Ted, the light bulb expert. The light bulb expert. He looks like the gorgeous fisherman. He does. <laughs> <laughs> and all he's doing is using the light to show you the finger he fucked his wife with last <laughs> night. Yes. He's showing you his stinky finger. He's like, that's how far I got it in before she passed out. <laughs> I'm a fat fingered fisherman. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, that, uh... Oh, he's a Thick fingered man. He certainly is. <laughs> what kind of filament is that? That's a very thick filament. It's the type they used to make out of carbon. Now they switch them. They make them out of they make them out of kerosene. Who knows the effect of <laughs> kerosene? Wow. You turn it on and they explode. It's like it's like the, the light bulb that killed caretaker. I wish that was the one in your house. <laughs> the light bulb looks like an old man's sack. Yeah, it's just kind of hanging there, and yeah. it smells bad. Yeah. That's all I can come up with. It really does. It looks like a, a ball bag. Odd looking light bulb. But the socket and everything is supposed to be the same. It's age. the original, they said. <laughs> oh, sorry, right, Ted, shit, man. It looks newer though. It's not reason. newer. Okay, I'm. I mean, they, I apologize. Do they? How do you turn it on? You just twist it. You look at it, and it knows what to do. <laughs> Stupid, wow. there's a switch. <laughs> so that's my question. How do you turn it on? Rub your cock in front of it. It'll get excited. <laughs> I'm just, I'm Talk just, dirty to it. I'm just asking. What, what's your name again? You know my name. <laughs> what is Ted, it? the light bulb expert. <laughs> <laughs>
could be the worst character ever. <laughs> yeah, well, it's factual. At least I know all about felonies. I certainly think I see him as a one-off. <laughs> oh, you're going to be surprised. <laughs> a lot of light bulb news. Oh, more than you can imagine. As a matter of fact, every story has a light bulb in it somehow because there's always light involved. <laughs> you can tell us what type of uh, lighting was used. If maybe yeah, of course I and, will. Yeah, yeah. fluorescent. What fluorescent you... for queers. <laughs> okay. Throwing the phone in business. Uh, <laughs> Will you take questions from our listeners, uh, Ted? If there are serious questions, I don't play games with light bulbs. All right, Brad in uh, Jersey. Good right. evening, Brad. Thank you for calling the program. No, it's on. Ted's it's light bulb hour. It's uh, <laughs> hour. Jesus. He wants to know how many Jews does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't do jokes like that. Six million. <laughs> 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 oh. uh. <laughs> oh, fuck this shit. I never thought we'd have a light bulb expert. Of course on. you haven't. We got an instant feedback from Stephen S. from Bayshore. Oh. Hey, what am I? Ooh. Oh, how could that be? He's sitting hey. right here. But it says Stephen S. from Bayshore. Someone's lying. What? Someone's. Who? Bidbin. What? Uh, line of the day is brought to you by mm. uh, Ted, the light bulb expert. Yes, it certainly is. Buy one of his seven filaments he makes a year. <laughs> That's They're, right. Oh, they last Handmade. a long <laughs> time. They're from uh, stillborn these? spines. If you make it only... <laughs> if you're, yeah, oh, that's right. He did say that. But he only makes seven a year. Why not make more? Because uh, I get tired of shoveling. <laughs> shoveling? That's why somebody walks away crying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. You know, I've got so many splinters playing those little lids off. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> tiny, tiny little lid. <laughs> breaking news, oh, looks breaking like it'd be news. Nice to put a shaving cream cannon. <laughs> oh, my God. Instead of the dreams you had. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Check out the device Ooh. that nobody should be without. That's right, a light bulb. Everyone <laughs> needs one. No, no, no a card no. scan. Oh. Dot com slash radio one. I'm going to use that to uh, scan Ted's card. He gave me one. That's right. Because uh, I'm in need of a uh, light bulb at my house. I'm having a lot of work done, and I got a chandelier going in. And it's got a lot of light bulbs You'll in it. You bet it does. Gonna... I hear the word chandelier, and I get tingly in the genitals. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you only make seven uh, filaments yeah. a year, though, that's going to be a problem for a chandelier. No, it's not. I've just been very slow on orders. <laughs> Nobody's ordering because I charge $500 per bulb. They're handmade. <laughs> I paint a little insignia on it. <laughs> <laughs> Ted's a douche. Ted's not a douche. Ted's a, a self-made man. <laughs> Ted's light bulb factory has been going strong for 14 months. <laughs> Do you have a website? What? Do you have a website? www.tezlightbulbfactory.com This is for W's. You certainly are. World web. Trevor from Akron, Ohio. Uh, what's, what's Ted's opinion of uh, halogen light bulbs? Huh? Halogen. I don't like halogen. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's halogen. Halogen is the ones you put in your headlamps. Yes, yes. Yes, of course I know that. Very bright. Yes, I prefer to put a regular 60-watt bulb in the front of my headlamps. <laughs> your headlights? I certainly do. <laughs> that probably wouldn't draw much light. Keep but... some mosquitoes away from the car, because they're always shitting on the hood. <laughs> I hate when moles and mosquitoes, mosquitoes, or mosquitoes, <laughs> mosquitoes, I hate when they shit on my hood. <laughs> Uh, what about LEDs? Those are uh, oh, a lot yeah. of people using those. Now. I don't like those at Light all. Light emitting diodes. Oh, those are no good. They <laughs> find those in paint ships. It's bad for children. What about what about fluorescent lights? Do you like that? I answered that question already. <laughs> <He did>. Redundant. <laughs> I said I don't like them. They're for queers. <laughs> I just wanted to hear you say it again. Plus, you can hide a regular light bulb in your hiney. If you're going to do that with a fluorescent, you have to get a good buddy and go cheek to cheek and then sashay sideways. <laughs> My on that hiney. <laughs> sashay. Yeah. Days no ago. skin around that fucking hole. <laughs> that fucking cesspool in the backyard <laughs> thing on the side of the head. <laughs> that fucking sinkhole that used oh. to be in the ear. Fucking turtle ears. <laughs> <laughs> Really are like a fucking, like a, just like a hairless reptile. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, put a wig on an iguana. <laughs> Looks just Jesus. like him. Looks just like him. Oh, those horrendous wigs. <laughs> Little tuft wig. Whenever you see the wig on a burn victim, you want to go, oh, look at the wig. And he lee 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 lee. <laughs> and fucking just adjust it really roughly. <laughs> well, I'll be very ginger with that if you don't mind. My head is tender. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's the same character. Apparently, there's an accident in the film in factory. <laughs> you know, he's burned from head to toe. <laughs> don't move the wig around too roughly. My head is very tender. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like hamburger patty. <laughs> Be gentle with the wig. Are you yourself. calling it the mini virus show? No. Somebody said you were. No. No, that's stupid Voss. Mm, wanted really? to was, remember we wanted to do that little thing with me, him, and Voss? That's a great idea, actually. Yeah, it's a great idea, but then they booked this show with me, DiStefano, and Voss. <laughs> I mean, and Patrice, but Voss, I don't know. I don't get it. That's a lovely theater that Count Basie. That's a 300 Bulver. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> 300 he, Bulver. He just he pays attention to how many light bulbs are in a place. But you only make seven. Judge how good it is. You only make seven a year, though. Yeah, I'm the only one in the country, though. <laughs> There's other ones. Right. How many? Competition. I don't know. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's going to come up with a funny number. <laughs> Two million. He, 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 he. He's at, well, who's your, who's your biggest uh, competition there, uh, Ted? Jeez. The Sun. The Sun. <laughs> <laughs> the Sun is owned by Jews, and they want it shut down. Holy <laughs> the Jews have the Sun, and they're ruining my business. <laughs> my best friend is Larry the Cloud Bigger. <laughs> We're teaming up. Wow. <laughs> Larry makes clouds and it blocks out the son of the Jew. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm in direct. I really have a rivalry going with, with Roger the Darkness Salesman. He hates me. <laughs> he sells darkness to rooms. But can I turn on the light? I guess we got it, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it. <laughs> well, nothing worse than over-explaining a mediocre joke. <laughs> what do you think, cum eater? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to give yourself a headache. Holy shit. <laughs> Steven S. from Bayshore, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me, gentlemen. Yes, indeed. I got Looking to see, forward to reading the... Uh, see all that uh, wonderful jimminess. <laughs> yes. Isn't it fun? Oh, that was great. He actually makes the face and everything. <laughs> well, you know, Ted... I'm uh, amazed by the amount of spittle that comes out of your mouth. That's yeah. really brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, spittle is the enemy of the light bulb, too. <laughs> it's very ironic that I'm such a, a light bulb king. <laughs> I have to talk away from my own product. <laughs> My monthly magazine explains how I do that. Oh, <laughs> you monthly magazine. Yes. Oh, what's that called? Ted's monthly magazine <laughs> concerning light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> what should I call it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that every question I ask uh, you, Ted, you get fucking very offended. Sorry, your head reminds me of one of my products. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. They left me hanging in here, but you certainly didn't. <laughs> uh.